Hello YouTubers. First of all, Merry Christmas to you all. Um, I'm hoping to get this uploaded today. So I just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because of one of the presents that I got. I'm quite chuffed with. Um, as you guys know, I sold my TZ6 in order to get the Flip Ultra HD 3rd Gen. And basically that left me without a digital camera. Now the PL70 that I had, had really good ISO on it and it took some really good uh, pictures at night of the stars and it really sort of picked it up really well. And what I really missed about um, the TZ6 was that capability. So I, I sort of had it in mind to get another cheapy one but I never really got round to it. Um, well, I never really had the money to do it so I was sort of planning on saving up my cash and getting one well today hee <laughs> hee the PL150 <laughs> now okay granted as you're probably going to find out the audio on the HD record isn't really that good um, like the PL70 when you zoom in and out the sound goes but it is quite a cheap camera and the fact that I got it and it's got the high ISO on it is really has really sort of chuffed, made me chuffed because you know that's what I wanted I wanted just a cheap camera to be able to have good ISO on it so I'm really chuffed with it um, I've been playing around with it today and it looks really good um, so I'm really really chuffed and I just wanted to share that with you guys because you know I know you guys sort of like to hear any good news that I have have been having a few issues with the flip when I play it back in VLC or QuickTime there seems to be like a, a blurriness to it um, but when I play it back through the flip software on my laptop it p works perfectly so I don't know what that's all about whether there's something wrong with my desktop or not I don't know um, but it is a little bit annoying and also I think maybe it's got something to do with the 50 frames per second and converting it and all that sort of stuff so I'm still sort of playing around with it I did for a while think about returning it but I like it too much to return it so I'm going to be doing loads of tests with it to the, well I say tests I'm going to be taking a lot of video with it today to see how it fares in various different lighting situations and hopefully it will work relatively decently so there you go, that's my little short video, hope you're enjoying it. The reason why I keep looking slightly to the left or right um, is because the PL50 has got the a little um, LCD screen that I can see myself on. And I did actually think, you know, the Pocket HD camcorders could have the same thing on here. I mean, this PL5, PL150 isn't that dear. So I would say it's probably about the same price as a Pocket HD camcorder. So if they can do it, and they concentrate more on the digital camera side of things than the video, then why can't all the other Pocket HD camcorders do it? So Kodak, Sony, Flip, you know, all the other companies out there, why don't you put like a little LCD screen on the front there so people can see what they're recording? Because it would help us a lot. Oh yes. Okay, that's enough for me. I'm going to be doing some tests and stuff, hopefully, um, and I'll get that up on YouTube later on. Okay, I hope you're having a good Christmas, and don't eat or drink too much, or do. It's up to you. <laughs> Alright, that's enough from me. Tatty bye for now.